Greetings folks. Today, we're navigating the Emerald Isle, but with a twist. While Ireland is renowned for its breathtaking landscapes and rich culture, it's not all rainbows and pots of gold. Some places, unfortunately, don't quite live up to the charm. So buckle up as we count down the top 10 worst places to live in Ireland. Starting off our list at number 10 is Athy. This small town in County Kildare has a rich history, dating back to the 12th century. But don't let its historic charm fool you. Athy has been grappling with some serious issues that have affected its livability. High unemployment rates have been a persistent problem, with many residents struggling to find stable work. This lack of economic opportunity has in turn contributed to a higher than average crime rate. Burglaries, theft and antisocial behaviour have been reported, causing concern among the locals. While there are certainly beautiful aspects to Athy, such as its picturesque location on the River Barrow, these issues can't be ignored. So despite its potential, Athy, unfortunately, lands its spot on our list. Moving down to number 9, we find ourselves in Clonmel. This town, nestled in the heart of Tipperary, unfortunately, has a reputation that's less than stellar. While the beauty of the Comera Mountains and the River Suir might be inviting, the town's issues are hard to ignore. Clonmel, you see, has an unenviable record when it comes to crime rates. From petty thefts to more serious offences, the town's residents have had to grapple with a security situation that's far from ideal. But the problems don't stop there. The town also suffers from a lack of opportunities. Job prospects in Clonmel are scarce, and the local economy has been struggling. This combination of high crime rates and limited employment options has led to a lower quality of life for many of Clonmel's inhabitants. It's a sad state of affairs for a town that's steeped in such rich history and surrounded by such natural beauty. And so, Clonmel takes the ninth spot, a place of contrast, where the allure of the landscape is overshadowed by the difficulties of everyday life. At number eight, we have Bunclody. This small town nestled in the heart of County Wexford may charm you with its quaint setting, but don't let the serene Slaney River views fool you. B-roll change Bunclody, unfortunately, faces a myriad of issues that make it less than ideal for residents. B-roll change. The town suffers from a lack of employment opportunities, a predicament that has led to a high rate of unemployment. B-roll change. This lack of jobs has had a domino effect, leading to other problems such as increased crime rates and a lower quality of life. B-roll change. It's a tough situation, especially for the youth who are seeking to build a future here. B-roll change. Despite its idyllic location, these challenges have cemented Bunclody's place as the eighth worst place to live in Ireland. B-roll change. Bunclody secures the eighth position on our list. Coming in at number seven is Port Arlington. Nestled on the border of counties Lowy and Offaly, Port Arlington sits on the banks of the River Barrow. But don't be fooled by the picturesque setting, as beneath the surface, there's a different story to tell. Port Arlington, unfortunately, has a reputation marred by high crime rates. Safety is a significant concern here, with residents often expressing worry about the prevalence of crime. The town is also grappling with a lack of amenities. While it certainly has its charm, the dearth of opportunities for employment and recreation can make living here a bit of a challenge. Despite its potential, the town struggles with issues of unemployment and underdevelopment. The result is a place that, while it might have a certain rustic appeal, falls short on the factors that make a town truly livable. So as much as it pains us to say it, Port Arlington, sadly, takes our seventh spot. Halfway through our list at number six, we find Ballyman. Once an ambitious project for urban regeneration, Ballyman has unfortunately become synonymous with high levels of crime and unemployment. Its towering blocks, originally built to accommodate a growing population, are now seen by many as symbols of social and economic challenges. Yet it's important to remember that Ballymun is not just a statistic, it's a community. A community that, despite its struggles, continues to show resilience and spirit. Many residents are actively working to improve the area and foster a sense of pride among its inhabitants. But as of today, the issues of crime and unemployment continue to overshadow these efforts. Therefore, Ballyman lands the sixth position on our countdown. Entering the top five worst places, we have Drogheda. A town with a rich history and beautiful scenery, but unfortunately, it's plagued with its fair share of issues. High crime rates pose a significant concern for the residents of Drogheda, making it a rather unsafe place to call home. Not an ideal environment to raise a family or even walk alone at night. 
Moreover, the living conditions in Drogheda leave a lot to be desired. Many residents complain about poor housing quality, and there's a noticeable lack of employment opportunities in the area. The town's economy has been struggling for years, leading to an increase in unemployment and a decrease in overall living standards. These factors, combined with a general feeling of neglect from local authorities, contribute to Dorgheda's unfortunate reputation. It's a town that's been left behind in many ways, and its residents are the ones paying the price. Despite its charm and potential, Drogheda holds the fifth spot on our list. Down to number four, we encounter Grenade. Tucked away in the heartland of Ireland, Grenade might seem like a charming rustic town at first glance. However, beneath this picturesque facade lies an unfortunate reality. The town's high unemployment rates paint a grim picture. The lack of job opportunities has led many of its residents to seek employment elsewhere, leaving behind a town struggling to maintain its vibrancy. In addition to this, Granard is also plagued by a scarcity of essential amenities. From public transportation to healthcare facilities, the town's infrastructure falls short of providing an adequate living standard for its inhabitants. This lack of services not only hampers the day-to-day -day life of the residents, but also deters potential settlers from making Grenade their home. Despite its rich history and captivating landscapes, the town is marred by these critical issues. This paints a rather bleak picture of life in Grenade, overshadowing its potential charms. Therefore, Grenade takes the fourth spot on our list. It stands as a testament to the fact that a town's attractiveness extends beyond its physical beauty, and it's the quality of life it offers that truly matters. Coming in at number three, we have Limerick. Now, Limerick is no stranger to the headlines, often for the wrong reasons. It's a city with a rich history and culture, but it's also plagued with issues that make living there a challenge for many. High crime rates have earned it a somewhat notorious reputation. It's a place where the echoes of past conflicts still reverberate, affecting the city's social fabric and leaving a scar on its image. On top of that, Limerick struggles with a lack of opportunities. The city has seen its fair share of economic downturns, and the employment prospects are not as rosy as one would hope. This, coupled with the crime rates, make it one of our least recommended places to live in Ireland. However, it's not all doom and gloom. Limerick is a city of resilience, a city that is constantly trying to better itself. But as of now, the problems outweigh the positives, and so, Limerick secures the third spot on our countdown. Just missing the top spot at number two is North Inner City of Dublin. This bustling region of the capital city, while rich in culture and history, unfortunately struggles under the weight of several issues. Notably, the North Inner City of Dublin suffers from high crime rates, a problem that has been persistent for many years. Additionally, the area grapples with the challenge of unemployment. With limited job opportunities, the residents face a tough time securing stable livelihoods. This, in turn, contributes to a cycle of poverty and crime, making life in this part of Dublin quite challenging. Despite these issues, it's important to remember that every city has its struggles, and it's the resilience and spirit of the locals that often shine through these adversities. The north inner city of Dublin, with its colourful murals and vibrant street life, is no exception. The North Inner City of Dublin takes the second spot on our list. And now, the place you've been waiting for. The worst place to live in Ireland is... Brace yourselves, folks. It's none other than the notorious town of Tala. Now, before we dive into the details, remember that every place has its charms and challenges, and Tala is no exception. Tala, a suburb of Dublin, has been contending with a reputation for high crime rates and limited employment opportunities. The town has been combating this notoriety for years, and despite efforts to revamp and rejuvenate, the progress has been slow and challenging. The townscape is dominated by unappealing apartment blocks, a grim reminder of the failed urban planning of the past. But it's not all doom and gloom. Tala is also a place of resilience and community spirit. The people here are known for their warmth and friendliness, always ready to lend a helping hand to a neighbour in need. And let's not forget the vibrant local arts scene, which provides a glimmer of hope amidst the town's struggles. And there you have it, the worst place to live in Ireland. And that concludes our countdown of the top 10 worst places to live in Ireland. We've ventured through Athy, Clonmel, Bunkludy and Port Arlington to the urban stretches of Ballymun, Drogheda, 
Granard, and Limerick. We've delved into the challenges of North Inner City of Dublin, and finally, we've unveiled the number one spot, a place that truly needs a turn of luck. It's important to remember, though, that every city has its ups and downs, and Ireland as a whole is a country rich in culture, history and beauty. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like, follow and turn on notifications for more content on Ireland. Stay tuned, and until next time, take care.